a very good day to you. Last time we looked at how important it is to feel that tangible love of God for you. And I want to continue to encourage you, please ask Holy Spirit to just affirm His love for you on a daily basis. Now, in this process of discerning the voice of God, it's important to understand that hearing God's voice is a little bit different from discerning. Discerning takes a little bit more effort from you and me, and we learn best of it in Hebrews 5 verse 14, where it says, But solid food belongs to those who are of full age, that is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Now listen to that. We have to discern good and evil, not only evil. So to know what God is saying is very important to bring that into account. And the way we discern God's voice is through the Holy Spirit. And of that we read in John 14 verse 17, He will be the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, but he abides in you and will be in you. Now, what I'm going to share now are just guidelines. Please do not make rules of these things. They are principles, biblical principles that help us discern God's voice. In every circumstance, you and I have to rely on the leading of the Holy Spirit. So that first principle I want to share with you today is where is the voice speaking to you coming from? Is it within or is it without? And it's very important to discern that. I will tell you an example. A lady came to see me a while ago and she had to make a move, which she felt was from the Holy Spirit, to move to Johannesburg. But that would mean that she would leave behind her children with her father. Um, they are a divorced couple and all the things that goes around that. And she was so uncertain. Reason told her not to do that. Reason told her, what will the people say? Reason told her many things, but she knew God was telling her deep inwardly that this is what he is saying to her. Eventually, when she finally took the decision, the peace of the Lord just flooded her heart. And you know, even now, God is working out things with her family in a perfect, perfect way. And she is fulfilling what he has called her to do. So that is that inward, outward voice. The enemy will always bombard you from outside, trying to convince you to do what he wants you to do urgently and making you feel guilty. Now, the second principle I want to share with you is having time to decide versus a tendency to hurry. This is another principle by which you can discern if it's God speaking to you or the enemy. The Holy Spirit is never in a hurry. He gives us time to think something over. He gives us time to win in counsel of others. The enemy will always hurry you on, telling you to do something now. He doesn't give you that, um, that time to decide. I remember Don and I had to attend a prayer meeting and according to the different people that would be at this prayer meeting and the, the focus of the day, we didn't have peace in our heart to go. But we asked the Lord, Father, do you want us to go or not? What is in your heart? So although by reason we could see many reasons, even the program, that we would not agree with, after really finding time to be quiet, God told us to go. And eventually we went with all our preconceived ideas. And you know, that day God opened a door for us and he invited us right into the center of the meeting. And something beautiful happened in that meeting that day that was so different from what was even planned. So it's always important to discern, is this voice coming inside of you or is this voice coming from the outside? And taking in consideration a reasoning without submitting to fear. So let me pray with you. Father, I pray today that you would help us to discern your voice, that we would recognize the soft, gentle, inward voice from that of the enemy that bombards us. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. May the Lord bless you and please join us next time as we're going to look at the next item where we discern between our emotions and when God is speaking.